Hello everybody, welcome back to Bee Pharma Wise. Today we will be discussing nomenclature of polyfunctional compounds. Now, as you can guess from the name itself, polyfunctional compounds. Poly means many, functional means functional groups. So, if an organic compounds contain more than one functional group, it can be referred as a polyfunctional compound. So, uh, for giving IUPAC names to such compounds, we have to consider one functional group as the parent or principal functional group and another functional group as substituent. So, uh, the higher priority functional group will be always considered as principal functional group and uh, the lower priority functional group will be considered as substituent. These are the basics. Okay. Now, principal functional group will be included in the IUPAC name in the form of suffix. Okay. So, we will use principal functional group in the name of compound as a suffix and we will include the substituent kind of functional groups which are lower priority uh, in the form of prefixes. So, how we are going to write this for understanding this we have to know which functional group is given which suffix and which prefix. Okay. So, let's start from the first functional group which is this carboxylic acid. Now, carboxylic acid is the highest priority functional group in the priority order for polyfunctional compounds. And for this we use, uh, I will write suffixes here and I will write prefixes here. Okay. So, for a carboxylic acid, we use the suffix OIC acid. This we know. We use the suffix OIC acid. And if in any case, if we have to give it a prefix, which is not the case because it is the highest priority group, then it will be carboxy. Okay. Second example, let's uh, talk about ketone. Now, ketone, when we use it as a parent group, we will use the suffix as own. And if we have to use it as prefix, we will use oxo. I am not writing these groups in their priority order. I will discuss the priority order in the later part of this video. We are just discussing which suffix and prefix is used for which functional group. Okay. Then uh, let's talk about aldehyde functional group. This is aldehyde functional group. Suffix will be al. And prefix will be for aldehyde we use the prefix formil okay then uh, let's uh, talk about uh, say esters this is an ester functional group so for esters we uh, use the suffix o a t e o it and the prefix will be C here. C double bond O group is called as carbonyl group. This you know carbonyl. And OR group is called as alkoxy group. So alkoxy carbonyl will be the prefix. Alkoxy carbonyl is going to be the prefix for ester group. Okay. Now for alcohol, the suffix will be all. And the prefix will be hydroxy. Okay. For amines, the suffix will be amine. But the prefix will be amino. For now, there are certain groups which are always written as a substituents like nitro. We don't use it as a principal functional group. So, we will always write it as prefix. Uh, similarly, halogens, like if we are talking about chlorine, then we don't write alcohols as principal functional group. So, no suffix will be there. So, prefix will be halo. So, for chlorine, it is chloro. For bromine, it is bromo. For fluorine, it is fluoro. For iodine, it is iodo. Just look at the spellings carefully and don't make some mistakes in writing the spellings. Okay, then you know alkyl groups are always written as substituents. We don't use a suffix for them. So alkyl is the uh, prefix used for alkyl. Similarly, OR, alkoxy group will also be used 
in prefix format okay we won't be having any suffixes for this because they are always written as prefixes so now if this uh, prefix suffix are clear to you for these particular functional groups now let's discuss in which priority we should be using the prefixes or suffixes so what is the basic priority of these functional groups and how to remember it because it is very important to remember the priority knowing the priority is okay good thing but remembering it is very important so i'm go going to write the priority order for you and i'm going to tell you a trick to remember it okay so just look at the board i will write mm -hmm. uh, C O O H means our carboxylic acid. I will write the name also so that it will it is easy for you to understand. So carboxylic acid is the highest priority group, followed by sulfonic acid S O three H. Okay, sulfonic acid. You also can write with me. Then um, followed by ester. Third ester, then acid halides or acid salts, followed by amides, followed by nitriles followed by aldehydes followed by ketones which i will call as oxo followed by alcohol which i will call as call as hydroxyl followed by amines followed by ether followed by a double bond and followed by triple bond Now you have seen that I have written these functional groups in front of you without referring to any textbook or any notes. So it means I have remembered these and how I have remembered these with a trick which I am going to tell you. Just look at the functional group names and just look at the uh, letter of the functional group which I have underlined. C for carboxylic acid you have to remember. C for carboxylic acid. So I will write C for central. Then S for sulfonic acid. So I will write S for school. E for ester. So I will write E for educational. A C for acid halides or acid salt. So A C I will write account. A D I will write A D amide and A D address. Nitriles N not. A L aldehydes I will write available for A L available A L. Okay, you have to remember this. Here full stop I'll put O oxo. I will write offer. H hydroxyl. I will write home. A N amine. So I will write avenue. A N avenue. Ether. I will remember ether as a name of a boy. Okay. Full stop. D do T that. What it becomes? 
सेंट्रल स्कूल एजुकेशनल अकाउंट एड्रेस नॉट अवेलेबल ऑफर होम अवे न्यू ईथर डू दैट सेंट्रल स्कूल एजुकेशनल अकाउंट एड्रेस नॉट अवेलेबल ऑफर होम अवे न्यू ईथर डू दैट सो बाय रिमेंबरिंग दिस सेंटेंस आई कैन रिमेंबर द एंटायर priority order for functional groups you just have to remember which letter is representing which functional group so if i uh, say available al it is going to be aldehyde if i say avenue an amine ether is directly ether functional group that do that d for double bond that t for triple bond सेंट्रल स्कूल सी फॉर कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एस स्कूल एस फॉर सल्फोनिक एसिड नॉट अवेलेबल नॉट एन फॉर नाइट्राइड ऑफर ओ फॉर ऑग्जो होम एच फॉर हाइड्रोक्सिल सो यू हैव टू टेक अ लिटिल बिट एफर्ट्स टू रिमेंबर विच लेटर इज रिप्रेजेंटिंग विच फंक्शनल ग्रुप एंड जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस सेंटेंस सेंट्रल स्कूल एजुकेशनल अकाउंट एड्रेस नॉट अवेलेबल ऑफर होम अवेन्यू इथर डू दैट जस्ट रिमेंबर दिस सेंटेंस एंड यू आर गुड टू गो एंड राइट एनी पॉली फंक्शनल कंपाउंड द आई पैक नेम ऑफ एनी पॉली फंक्शनल कंपाउंड सो द हाइयर फंक्शनल ग्रुप इन प्रायोरिटी विल ऑलवेज कंसिडर्ड एज प्रिंसिपल फंक्शनल ग्रुप एंड वी विल यूज द सफिक्स फॉर दैट सो इफ माई कंपाउंड इज हैविंग कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड एंड यू से नाइट्राइड देन आई विल यूज कार्बोक्सिलिक एसिड इन द फॉर्म ऑफ सफिक्स सो आई विल यूज ओ आई सी एसिड एज सफिक्स टू माई नेम एंड फॉर नाइट्राइल्स वी यूज साइनो द सफिक्स इज साइनो आई फॉर गॉट टू मैंशन द नाइट्राइल ग्रुप इन द लेटर फर्स्ट चार्ट वी डिट बट यू रिमेंबर फॉर साइनो कंपाउंड साइनो इज द प्रेफिक्स नाइट्राइल इज द सफिक्स सो आई विल यूज साइनो एज प्रेफिक्स इन द नेम एज अ सब्सटीट्यूंट ओके सो आई हैव टू साइन द प्रॉपर लोकंट टू द सब्सटीट्यूंट आई विल आई एम गोइंग टू कवर examples for this so stay tuned you are going to learn everything about the nomenclature of polyfunctional compounds suppose i am having aldehyde group and ketone group in the same compound then i will end the name with al because i have to use the suffix for aldehyde and i have to use the prefix oxo for the ketone so i'll be taking some examples i hope you have understood i am giving you a minute just you can take a screenshot if you want and then you can copy it down in your notebook you can pause the video take the screenshot i hope it's done now let's take some examples and let me tell you how easy it is nothing complicated if you remember the priority order so let's take an example 1 2 3 4 5 0 oh, h ketone so this is a polyfunctional compound where you can see there is ketone functional group and then there is alcohol functional groups so what i will do i will tell you the systematic procedure for doing this identify the functional groups and name the chain or number the chain from that end where the principal functional group will get the lowest possible number so i will name the chain number the chain from right hand side so this is 1 2 3 4 5 it is a 5 carbon chain so 5 carbon chain with ketone as the principal functional group because we know ketone comes earlier than your hydroxyl o comes earlier than h so o for oxo h for hydroxyl so here my pain pe um, tone will be the parent because five carbon so pent and uh, sorry pentanone will be the, my parent pentanone e of pentane will be replaced by o n e as a suffix for ketone so pentanone will be my parent i will write p small pentanone and then what i have to do is figure out this functional group is attached at which carbon so it is attached at first carbon so obviously i will write one hydroxy pentanone one hydroxy pentanone now here i have used hydroxy which is a prefix for alcohol and here i have used one which is a suffix for uh, your ketone 
so ketone becomes my principal functional group so i have used it in the form of suffix and alcohol becomes my lower priority functional group so i have used in the form of prefix okay it is very simple another example we will take one two three four double bond and uh, okay what we will do hmm. i will use bromine here okay very simple structure ch3 ch2 ch ch ch2 if i have to name this particular compound look at the structure it has one double bond and it has one halogen now as i told you some uh, functional groups are never considered the principal functional groups so have you seen halo in the priority order no because it is always considered as substituent so automatically double bond becomes our principal functional group so we have to number the chain from this end so i will number it like this one two three four five at third position bromine is there so i will use bromine in the form of prefix so how i will write it three bromo three bromo and then five carbon containing alkene okay five carbon containing alkene so it becomes it becomes pentene but from at which carbon double bond is there at first carbon double bond is there so i will write pent one in as you can see i will write it little bit big font size see 1 2 3 4 5 so paint one in is going to be my parent 1 2 3 4 5 five carbon with one double bond at one position double bond so paint one in will be my parent and at third position there is bromo so three bromo paint one in will be the correct name for this okay so the basic thing in polyfunctional nomenclature is identifying functional groups and identifying the priority for the functional groups okay uh, now let me take one more example 1 2 3 4 5 cooh and uh, let me take no2 here so this is the compound ch3 ch2 ch ch2 cooh now look at the functional groups there is nitro there is carboxylic acid now as per our priority carboxylic acid will be the parent and it is always terminal so we will start it from start numbering from this end only so five carbon containing carboxylic acid so you directly write the name pentanoic acid now here i have not written it as one word because acids we write as two word and uh, then at third position there is nitro and nitro is the prefix so i will write three nitro pentanoic acid so this is how we are going to give iupac names to polyfunctional compounds i hope it is clear i hope the prefixes suffixes what you have to do if you want to master the polyfunctional compound nomenclature you have to master three things first you have to remember suffix and prefix list second you have to remember priority order and next you have to know some basic rules for writing iupac names so if these three things you master you are going to master the nomenclature of polyfunctional compounds i hope the video was helpful i hope the trick was helpful if yes do let me know in the comments below and keep watching be pharma wise subscribe for more content bye